So at 12 o'clock, we had our last college football playoff eligible football team. Um, I'm, I'm going to do one more 12 o'clock game. That's just because I'm a Florida fan. I, mean, I kind of have to do it. But at 12 o'clock, we number 17, UNC, who's 7-1. and one. Travel to Virginia, who's 3-5. and five. UNC favorite seven and 7.5 points on the ACC Network. Drake May for UNC has gone 196 to 275. Thrown for 2,671 yards, 29 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Also leads his team on the ground, 98 carries for 439 yards and 3 touchdowns. And he might be the most overlooked player in all of America. Playing amazing football week in, week out for the Tar Heels. Have only lost one game, and the Tar Heels are somehow ranked only 17th in the nation. Reminder, there are only 13 playoff-eligible football teams, which means three teams with two losses are ranked ahead of the UNC Tar Heels. That is just unacceptable, in my opinion. It's ridiculous. But uh, Antoine Green for the Tar Heels has gotten 23 catches for 564 yards and 6 touchdowns. Brennan Armstrong for the Virginia uh, Cavaliers has gone 151 to 271, thrown for 1,826 yards, six touchdowns, nine interceptions. Parrish Jones on the ground has had 81 carries for 365 yards and two touchdowns, and Keytown Thompson has had 53 catches for 579 yards. UNC leads the series all time, 65-58. Last game went to UNC in 2021. UNC hasn't won at Virginia though since 2016. But Virginia has won. Uh, Virginia has won four of the last five times they've played. So, they're going, up. they're going in an uphill battle, right? They're fighting an uphill battle to beat Virginia. But on the other hand, Virginia is really struggling this year. You could see it in the game against Miami, the game that went to four overtimes and never, no one ever scored a touchdown. Might be the most boring four overtime game of all time, but. UNC is actually a good football team, and they're severely underrated, right? Their offense is super explosive. Now, their de defense has some weaknesses, and that's probably why they're ranked number 17. Still don't think they deserve it because this is, in fact, a one-loss Power 5 football team, right? And we're nearing the end of the season. There's only 13 playoff-eligible football teams left. Um, UNC is one of them, and they deserve to be ranked higher, at least in my opinion. Like, I don't feel like this is a fair ranking for the Tar Heels. But I feel like they have a chance to prove it this week. I feel like someone else is going to lose, and you have a ch chance to move up if you're the Tar Heels. A chance to move up significantly if you dominate in this game, which I think you can do. Virginia's defense isn't bad, but I just think UNC's offense is better. And while well, UNC's defense is bad, Virginia's offense is just significantly worse. Give me the Tar Heels to win and cover on the road.